stock markets in the United States were very strong yesterday with both Dow Jones and Nasdaq racing. Uh, the Bank of America went up close to 4% and also other big blue ship stocks as General Electric, Cisco, JP Morgan uh, proved very, very strong. Uh, this positive trend is continuing in Asia this morning where all the indexes are up led by Australia. The reason for this positive development in the stock markets uh, are increased optimism in the United States that it should be possible to reach a compromise between uh, the White House, President Obama, and the Republicans. Uh, there was a new meeting between then uh, Obama and Mr. Berner, the uh, uh, Republican uh, negotiator yesterday and it is said that uh, President Obama is now willing to go up a little bit with regards to the threshold for then income that should be taxed higher. He would, uh, has increased this threshold from 250 to 400,000 US dollars. There is still a little distance to go before it has reached the Republican proposal uh, on one million. That there should be then increases in taxes only for incomes over one million US dollar. On the current currency front, the, uh, the yen is still under big pressure. It is trading now uh, <coughs> around 84 yen to a dollar. Uh, the same trend we see in relation to uh, uh, euro and yen. Uh, US dollar uh, is stable against euro. Euro US dollar is trading at 131.80, up substantially from the beginning of last week. And we see now a euro US dollar level higher than we have seen for a long period of time. There are also races in commodity prices and precious metals this morning. Brent crude is trading on 118.40 and gold is again uh, trading above 1700 after being down below 1690 yesterday. I wish traders a very good trading day from United World Capital and Cyprus.